chicos y chicas, I am Ricardo Laguna and welcome back to my channel and the eviction moratorium got extended till June 30th of 2021. Will any landlord be able to do any evictions before June 30th of 2021? Thank you so much for sharing your valuable time to watch this YouTube video and it will mean the world if you guys smash that like button because by you guys hitting that like button will help this YouTube video to get out there so then more people can learn from it. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I am to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And now that I got that out of the way, well, I believe there has been over three extensions for this moratorium, which this means that there's landlords out there, they have yet to receive rent for the past year or more. It's the landlord. You have the rent for this month. Only to have the door slammed in his face time and again. But tenants, this don't mean that you can get evicted because if the landlord follows his guidelines, you guys can still get evicted. There's been over $45 billion. Yes, you heard that right. Billion with the B. Billion dollars. For rent assistance. Now, each state has their own guidelines, but I have read that there is over 18 months of rent assistance that you tenants can have if you qualify. Now, keep in mind, tenants, you are not going to get that cash directly to you. That money will be sent directly to your landlords because there are always some bad apples in the tree. And what do I mean by that? Well, sometimes we have some tenants, they get a little sneaky and they try to beat the system. Now keep in mind, this moratorium is not a get out of jail card. Nobody just picks up a get out of free jail card. You tenants actually are entitled to pay whatever money you guys are owing. Fees and water bills unpaid by his tenants. Here go another one, $641. Here go another one, $523. Here go another one, $660. Shall I keep on going? Towards your landlord. And as I said earlier, just because there is a moratorium out there, this doesn't mean you tenants that are not paying, you're not going to be able to get evicted. Now, here are some of the reasons why evictions are still possible today. Landlords, you guys have a 30 day, no cost notice to quit, which of course, for that to work, their lease has to be expired. Well past the expiration date. If the tenant is not taking care of your property, another reason why you can get evicted. If there's illegal things going on the property, you can get evicted. Or any other stuff that is not allowed to be done in that property, that will get you evicted as well. Now, to flip the coin on the tenant side, for you guys, yes, there is a CDC notice that you can serve your landlord with. But that CDC notice will not work for you guys if you can't prove any of these bullet points. Tenants have to prove that they have applied for any government assistance that you guys might be able to have. If you make over 99,000 or if you're married, if you make under $198,000, tenant lost a job or the tenant's job cut their working hours, Tenants has out-of-pocket medical expenses. If tenants don't have anywhere to go making them homeless, or the one that I would like to say is the most fair, if tenants tries to make any type of payment that they can't afford towards their rent. It's my landlord, Pearl. I'm really late on my rent. I can give you half. In theory, tenants should be able to qualify for this assistance if they have proof for any of these bullet points that I just mentioned. Now keep in mind, this has to be a residential property. You may ask, Ricardo, but what is labeled a residential property? Well, that is any property that has a lease such as a home, 
mobile home, land on a mobile home, or similar dwellings that are able to have a lease for residential. Now, what's not considered a residential property, this will include hotels, motels, other guest house, or temporary or seasonal tenants. Keep in mind, each day will have their own guidelines, so always check your local guidelines. Now, remember, this isn't free rent. This is a hold to rent, and at some point, you guys will be entitled to pay any debt off. By not paying your debt, it can also affect your credit, and it could put you in a judgment case making it almost impossible in the future if you guys are trying to purchase any homes. That could be a red flag for not being able to qualify. So please, if you can, pay your debt off. And from my understandings, landlords, you guys can also apply for any assistance. Keep in mind, this moratorium basically said so it would help stop preventing the big C word and not relieving any tenant obligation to pay your rent. So for all of you tenants, if you guys can pay your rent, please pay your rent so you don't have to make this thing even worse than what it is. Now, with that said, would this moratorium get pushed once again? Will it be until June, September, December, next year?